Hello everybody, I am Elio, and let us continue playing Earthbound Blind. So, last time, we were in the world of Magicant, the realm of Ness's mind, and it was interesting to say the least. We fought off Ness's evil side and unlocked Ness's true potential. Then we walked back here to uh, Sant Valley, and there's Dr. Andernuts and Applicate here with this Mr. Satin looking machine. Hmm. Let's see what this is all about then, shall we? Yaha! The Mr. Satins are incredible folk! And the Apple Kid. He's a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway. Mertitai's face distorted has been stolen! Uh-oh. That sounds bad. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes. Pokey! Took Mr. Satin captive and stole the device! Well, that really doesn't sound good. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Including the face distorter getting stolen? Dr. Undernuts, Mr. Satin, and I worked together and finally completed the face distorter. The purpose of this device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. Ooh, I do like time travel. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. Oh, no time travel. Sad. Well, s space travel is almost as cool. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. Hmm. I guess we'll be going there later. Oh, no! I wanted to turn to one shaven man back there. I guess we'll go in this machine. Oh, didn't sound like it worked. <laughs> no. We're gonna soul chard. Hmm. It doesn't work. One thing is missing. That one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? I wouldn't say recently, but we have indeed. Eureka, that's it! If even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zexonite. I thought that your mortal enemy, Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to go to one and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, and it is in his evil hands. No, my friends and family! You must go, though. So, take every possible precaution. The Mr. Satins have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Annette is like at this point in time. Mm, I wonder too, and again, hope for the safety of my friends and family. Okay, we'll go to the shop in a minute, but I just want to talk to one shaven guy here first. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead for you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Satin. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. That's true. It's important that you enjoy the work you do. Okay then. Up here to the shop then, because as Dr. Andernuts was saying, uh, they have new stuff in the shop, from what I gather. Also, I want to buy a couple of Horns of Life, just so I have revival, revival items on hand. Is it just me or the more Mrs. Satin's here than before? Hmm. Anyways. Hi, 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 do you come by? Yes, I do. Alright then. Yeah, none of this stuff is really interesting. Secret Herb. It's cheaper than the Horn of Life, but I don't remember that working 100% of the time. So, I think I'll just stick with the Horn of Life. But I don't have enough money for that. So, let's go to the ATM real quick then. And get some money out. How much to get out though? Hmm, 10,000? I don't want, I don't know what kind of good stuff the other Mr. Sand may have, so... 20,000? Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright then. And buy those horns of life first. And then... Buy it and give the first one to Ness. And... Buy the second one, and... Should I give this one to Ness as well, or should I give it to someone else? Paula has plenty of space. Uh, Jeff, you have none. Big surprise, and Pooh, you have very little. I'll give the other Horn of Life to Paula then. Uh, I don't need anything more from you. Hello! Second Mr. Satin back here. What do you have? Ooh, pendants! This is new, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and these pendants, I assume, reduce damage or reduce the effectiveness of PSI Fire, PSI Freeze, and PSI Flash, respectively. Flame Pendant, Rain Pendant, and Night Pendant. And we have Piggy. Piggy Jelly here as well. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let me just check my pendants first. Oh! That reminds me. 
Uh, Ness has a second Earth Pendant, which I need to give to someone. Um, Paula... Jeff? Jeff has no room. And... I don't want to decrease the defense on... Uh, Pooh. Because you give anything else other than equipment given a set for him, then his defense decreases, and I don't want that to happen particularly. So, I'll give it to Paula. Actually... That C pendant you have, I want to recheck what that did. Okay, it protects you from fear, fire, freeze, and flash attacks, just like the Earth Pendant. Earth and Sea, theming there, okay. Uh, let me just compare defense here. Four less defense, I think Paula would be better off than that, considering she's got less defense, so... Uh, give the Earth Pendant to Jeff then, but I'm gonna need to make room. That Death Ray, can I sell that? I've had bad experience in the past not being able to sell guns. Sell, selling Jeff's old weapons. Oh, Death Ray. Okay, we can sell it. 1,150, I will take that. So I have room, and Paula, give that Earth Pendant to Jeff. And I shall equip that right away. And I'm replacing your Night Pendant. Uh, the Mr. Sam was just selling that, right? And I guessed it would prevent flash attacks or reduce the effectiveness of them. Let me just check that real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe that was saying absorb light from a flash attack. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think I think I'll actually sell that. I'll sell that just to make a little more room for Jeff, and so I have a little more money. 1,500, I will take that, and you had picky jelly as well, right? Yeah, I think I'll buy one of those as well, if only to see what it does, and uh, give that to Paula, she has plenty of room, and picky jelly, help, it's one of Mr. Satin's favorite foods, it tastes alright, when in, you recover about 300 HP, wow, that's a lot, and how much were you selling that for? Was it 222 did I see? Yeah, $222. That is well worth the money. And hello, last minute certain, what do you have? Bionic Slingshot, Travel Charm, Great Charm, oh, this is old stuff. Jeez. Bionic Slingshot, I don't remember this being here. Maybe it wasn't, I just don't remember it. It's not as good as what we've already got, so... Yeah, no point in buying it. Alright then, let's get out of here then. And... Without any further dilly-dallying, let's head over to Onet then. Because we need to check if our friends and family are alright, and... We need to get the piece of the meteorite for... Dr. Andronauts and the phase... Dis phase distorter? Yeah. Oh wow, it's night here. Wonder what kind of hellhole Gagas will have made this place. Take this magic butterfly. Have a look at our stats real quick. Oh, this didn't get completely healed after leaving Magicant, so let's change that real quick. Life of Delta Hammer. Max him out. How much HP does he have now? 708! Wow! That's overkill compared to everyone else, but I'll definitely take it. Okay, yeah, we need to head up here and follow the path to the meteorite. And while we're on the way, actually, we can stop off and see Mum, see if she's alright. And heal up there while, as well while we're there. Alright, no enemies so far. Oh! Uh, as soon as I'm saying it! Get attacked by a couple of diamonds. Ooh, Mechanical Octobot and Ghost of Starman. Hmm, the ghost of the Starman we saw at the beginning of the game? Hmm. Okay, uh, yes, you have plenty of PP, and I'm just about to heal. Yeah, actually, I'm about to heal, so let's go all out here. Uh, there's two of them, so I think I'll use Fidel with Paula. Spy, the ghost of Starman, and Pooh. Yeah, again, we're going all out, so I might as well use Star Storm. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with this. 350, 400, nice! 250, 100... Still good st oh, you have Star Storm as well! 
That sucks. Ow. Ow! 400 to Paula and Jeff. And they're both taking mortal damage. That sucks. Alright then. Rock and Delta away and hopefully we can kill them before the HP hits zero. Not that it matters because I'm just about to heal, but we win. Okay, good. 22,000 experience. Wow. Okay. Head in here and heal then, shall we? Oh. Rather dark in here. I guess you put out all the lights so you don't draw attention to yourself in here. Oh. Mom, talk to me. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around the net now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some steak? That I do. Some delicious, juicy steak. More relaxed? Yes. Okay, and... Look at our stats. Ness has 522 PP. Ridiculous. I could spend so much now. Uh, while well, I'm here. Phone. Might as well save here just in case. Ah, so much experience to level ups. Okay. Record our progress and continue. Alright. Get out of here. And actually. I just reminded myself of something. We got life up Omega last time, and I just want to see what that does. Because, yeah, I suspected that Delta will completely restore HP, so what does Omega do? 400 HP to everyone! Finally, we have a multi target healing spell! Jeez, it took forever. And I'm not sure I like this setup. We'll roll with it, though. Make sure they don't get the advantage on me, though. Well, that sucks. That Storm... That Starman's Star Storm hits ridiculously hard. Okay, let's rest up here then. Actually, will resting here revive Puller and Jeff? No, it doesn't. I'm going to need to healing Delta if I want to bring them back. Alright then. Let's revive everyone here real quick and heal up. Okay. Sorted that out, and hopefully I can only fight this one. All right, one is fine, one is good, except when it's a Starman. Can we? No, I'm not going to risk back spamming this thing. Actually, Star Storm is lethal. In fact, I'm even going to go all out on this thing just because I hate Star Storm so much. Well, this, well, when it's used against me. But it's solidified. That's good. Anything to stop it? Star Storm. 260, very nice, 200, and down, good, and stay down, okay, pool leveled up, HP by 11 and PP by 2, alright, people don't need healing, cause, oh god, there's an awful lot of enemies here, and we only fight two here, yeah, well, let's show this as well, I guess, uh, Jeff, Hunger HP center is multi-target, you might as well use that. Uh I I still don't like that ghost of Starman Starstorm, so I I'm just gonna use Starstorm and kill as fast as possible. It's a lot of PP, but it'll be worth it. Hoping. Paula and Jeff are dead again. Well, taking more damage. Oh, we need to finish this fast. Fire Delta, please take down both of them. Oh, okay, the Octobot's down. Oh, HP Sucker, you better work, or Polar is dead. Okay, Polar is dead. And Bash Spam, please. Oh! Just about kef kept Jeff alive. Jeez. That was close. And Ness leveled up. HP by 12, PP by 8. Like it. HP by 2 for Jeff. Okay, oh, I better heal before these guys swarm me. Uh... Killing Delta Paula then, bring her back, and that'll be a good opportunity to use Life Up Omega actually. Max everyone out, yeah, and run away, run away, run away, oh god, surrounded on all sides here. Oh, what's that over there on the right? Evil Eye, okay, uh, blimey, going all out again, all out again are we? 
Rockin' Delta. Rockin' um, uh, Fire Delta. No, Jeff, you need to spy the evil eye. And Pooh. Starstorm again. It's expensive, but worth it. Around 400 to each. Nice. I'm rocking, you're about 300 to 400 each, right? Yeah, Starman's defeated. That's the priority here, I think. Brain Shock Omega. Uh oh. And Brain Shock seems just about as useless as ever. Alright, fire. Ooh, Evil Eye's resistant to fire, but it takes out the Octobot. Alright, so now we're just left with the Evil Eye, and you are weak to freeze. Alright then. I don't imagine you have too much HP left, so. Freeze Beta, shoot, and freeze Alpha. Hopefully, we can get away with that. 200? Yeah. <laughs> Had less HP than I thought. 34,000. Wow. And onwards, and please don't attack me. Please get stuck behind a tree or something. Well, it's gone now. Okay. And two more of you. Okay. Oh, um, how? Really? Well, that didn't go as planned. Starstorm is lethal. BB by 12 for Pooh, though. Like that. Alright, let's get everyone back here. Oh, didn't work. Great. Have to waste more PP trying to bring... Oh, for goodness sake! I don't want to use Pooh's Healing Omega and use more of his PP. He'd only be able to use one anyway. Before his PP run out. Because it costs 40. Alright. Bring everyone back and Life of Omega. And my separate one out. And if I could run away from those diamonds and make him despawn, that would make me happy. Alright. Onwards then, please. Oh, you're not gonna get stuck behind the tree. It's not gonna be that easy. Okay. That settles it. The Ghost of Starman is the most lethal thing I have ever seen in this game. Rockin' Omega! Oh, I don't think you could have come up at a better time, really. Oh. Dad? Stop talking to me. I'm a bit busy right now. No, I don't want to stop. Yes, Fate of the World is at stake, and this is why you shouldn't be bothering me. Okay. Link Delta. Revive everyone again. And fail again. Fail twice again. It's gonna work this time, I bet you. No! We'll just keep doing this forever then. Okay, and I'll be safe and use the Horn of Life. Come on, Jeff. Because... No, Ness. Ness has a lot of PP, but it's not infinite. And life maker, everyone? Yeah. Alright. Thanks for everyone out, and run away from that diamond there. Hate for that to be another starman. Oh, this house. Treasure Hunter. Can we go in here? Oh, no, we're knocking, but there's no response. Alright then. There's the meteorite up there. And nothing else stands in our way. So... Let's see if we can get a piece of this, then. There is something shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Yes! Ta-da! Ness got the meteorite piece. Alright, then. And with that, find a good space to launch from and teleport back on to Saturn Valley, then. Whee! Don't worry, Onet. You'll be safe soon enough. Okay, back here, and talk to Dr. Endonuts then. Hmm, if only I had a piece of... <sighs> you think I'd learned by now, practically at the end of the game, that you have to go into the goods in order to give stuff to people. Ah, yes, this is fantastic! What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. Alright, leave everything to us, and you'll get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Indeed, so head over to this house here where we can heal and rest up, sleep for the night, and hopefully Dr. Andronauts will have fixed his machine by then. Alright then, morning, and let's go check up on Andronauts. Finally, it's complete! The Face Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions, uh, heal us, I guess. In layman steps. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. There is just one thing, though. You might not be able to return. 
so make sure you are optimally outfitted. Uh, no, I'm not ready to go because there's all sorts of stuff I should get before I head through here into this, actually. Into the phase distorter. Who knows what might lie within. Yeah, I'll let you know when preparations are complete. So, yeah, I need I need to prepare before I go into the phase distorter, I think. Get bottle rockets and and healing items and all sorts of stuff like that. If any of you can give me any advice for stuff I should be buying to prepare for going inside the phase distorter, then uh, advice would be most welcome. So, next time, we'll be fully prepared and we shall head into the phase distorter and see what lies beyond. I thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all then.